Hello everyone, I'm Nitin and in this Christian's algorithm for clock synchronization video, I'll be discussing basics of algorithm, computational steps of algorithm and a numerical example of algorithm. So let's get started. Clocks are one of the most important components of computers and other devices. However, due to various factors, these clocks may drift from the standard frequency or tick rate and may gain or lose time with respect to the reference clock and this time difference between the two clocks is called clock skew. This clock skew may gradually increase and eventually cause desynchronization of the computer clock from the reference clock which could affect their normal operations. Therefore, it requires synchronization of the computer clock with the reference clock to minimize clock skew. Several algorithms or protocols were proposed for synchronizing clocks and Christian's algorithm is one of them. Christian's algorithm is used for clock synchronization. It is based on the client server architecture and utilizes coordinated universal time or UTC. Here we have got a centralized time server which provides the UTC or reference time to all its clients. When a client wants to adjust its clock according to the reference time, then it sends a request to the time server. The time server executes that request and sends its reply with the current reference time to the client. The communication between the client and server is based on the remote procedure call or RPC. Calculating the synchronized time also requires to work out the delay time in sending the message from the server to the client. For calculating the synchronized time on the client using Christian's algorithm, we need three different readings of time. First, client's time of sending a request to the server that is T0. Second, server's current time while sending its reply that is TS. And third, client's time of receiving server's reply that is T1. Based on the time T0 and T1, we can calculate the network delay time or round trip time which is T1 minus T0. Round trip time refers to the time duration between the start of a request and end of its corresponding response. For calculating the synchronized time on the client, we need to work out the delay time in sending the message from the server to the client which is T1 minus T0 over 2. Note, Christian's algorithm assumes symmetric behavior and the network latency for sending and receiving messages are approximately equal. After calculating delay time in sending a reply, it is easy to calculate the synchronized time on the client using the Christian's formula which is synchronized time on the client equals server time plus delay time in sending a reply. Now let's look at an example. Here we have got three required readings of time. First, client's time of sending a request to the server that is T0 equals 10 hours, 25 minutes and 10 seconds. Next, server's current time while sending its reply that is TS equals 10 hours, 25 minutes and 13 seconds. And third, client's time of receiving server's reply, that is T1 equals 10 hours, 25 minutes and 14 seconds. Note that the time format used here is hours, minutes and seconds. We should also include milliseconds, but for the sake of simplicity, I haven't included milliseconds. Firstly, we calculate round trip time T1 minus T0 which is basically 14 minus 10 seconds as hours and minutes are the same in both times T1 and T0. So we have got round trip time of 4 seconds but we need to account for time delayed in sending a reply which is T1 minus T0 over 2 that is 2 seconds. Finally, we can calculate synchronized time on the client using the Christian's formula which is the server time plus delay time in sending a reply that is 10 hours 25 minutes and 15 seconds. Note this algorithm works well with low latency networks 
where round trip time is short. This concludes my presentation and thanks for watching my video.